Thank you, Katie. Every two minutes, a child is diagnosed with cancer. That's why every year the St. Baldrick's Foundation puts on the Shaving Lives event. People shave their heads to raise money for childhood cancer research. Methodist Children's Hospital held a kickoff event today where nurses, physicians, and family members of cancer patients decided to get in the chair and shave their heads. But it was one nine-year-old girl who surprised many by volunteering to shave her head. Nine-year-old Lily Lou is a girl of few words. How does it feel, Lily? <laughs> but she certainly has a big heart. She raised more than $850 for childhood cancer research, and on Friday, she decided to shave her head. She was one of many who crammed into this room at Methodist Hospital, all there to support children fighting cancer and their families. It's really not a sad event. Even the, the kids that are there or the bereaved parents like myself, it's, but it, it's that sense of community. Dr. Quinn shaved his head for the fifth year straight. He had a message of solidarity when asked asked why he does this every year. For patients like Aixa and uh, like Bella and all of the patients and families in this room. As of Friday afternoon, more than $11,000 had been raised. <laughs> the original goal, 5,000. Lily's father got to finish off her buzz cut. Way to go, Lily! while her mother cheered over the phone. Both of Lily's parents deal with the patients daily at Methodist Hospital, which is why they think Lily decided to shave her head to show her support. It just speaks volumes. Uh, we didn't ask her to do it. Uh, she just volunteered to do it, uh, uh, I guess, because we live it. I feel... <laughs> I know that people go through this a lot, and I just wanted to be a part of it. A smile from Lily once the hair is all gone. Hair doesn't matter to Lily, because she says beauty is on the inside. Okay, guys, one, two, three. What a compassionate mm. little girl. The big event, Saving Lives 2019, is tomorrow in New Braunfels. It'll be at Krause's Cafe from 3 to 6 p.m. About 30 people will be shaving their heads. You can also go to ksat.com to donate directly to St. Baldrick's.